Hey guys, what's up? So if you've been watching my previous videos and you know that I've been trying to fix this battery here, I had a battery going bad here, my uh, three-year-old uh, thing for my uh, power stroke sick later. So I got this battery, came on Amazon, and I thought I'd give it a shot, but uh, it's like 15 bucks. And uh, it's supposed to restore this uh, battery, the sulfation. So right now I, I currently have my whiz bang desulfator on it. And I'll do a quick test to show you the internal resistance. I have a couple different battery testers. Uh, load testers and we're gonna go on. So I'm gonna do a quick load test on it and uh, I'll do a before and after with this uh, stuff in it. Alright, so that's the internal resistance. It did go down just running my whiz bang. Originally it was at 4.38. Ran it for a couple days, the whiz bang, and uh, now it's down to 4.05. And pulled 654 which is an increase. Last time I did it was 604. But like I said, I haven't even put the solution in yet. That's just with the whiz bang desulfator. Um, so it is increasing, that's good. But uh, the main thing is I want to get the internal resistance down lower, if you can see that, hopefully. And uh, we'll get this in. So I know I do actually have a weak cell. I actually have a hydrometer. And this cell is actually kind of weak right here. So I'll do a quick test on that and see what's up. Alright, let's see. Yeah, see that thing that's in the red right there? Just that one cell. Let's go to an error cell and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All the other cells seem like they're fine. Except for that one cell. So, so this could be a bad battery, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely getting better though. Why isn't that one charging? Alright, we'll get the battery cam in there. That comes with individual packs. There should be probably six of here for six cells, but I'm wondering if this is just Epsom salt. So I'm trying to figure out. You know, I do actually have Epsom salt too, so I wonder if this is just expensive Epsom salt. No idea. They don't say what's inside of the ingredients, so. Alright, we'll get it going. Alright, have the chemical in there. Take a look. Alright, put the cap back on and shake it up a little bit. And then uh, I'll be back in a week or so, do an update. We'll do another internal resistance test and see if this thing actually uh, got any better. Alright. Just gonna shake it up. Alright, cool. Alright, so it's only been a day. I can't wait a week. Um, yeah, I put this battery back in my truck. I gotta use my truck. But, uh, so I'm gonna do another load test on it. It ran for another night, desulfating, and uh, with that stuff in it, the uh, battery cam. So doing that load test on this thing. See what's up. I know you're not supposed to do this right off the charger, but uh, so let's sit. Okay, okay. Flooded, regular. It's cold cranking amps. Okay, it's 850. This is actually why I have a second tester, just to be able to verify. You know, in case I don't leave the one tester, I have second, something else to, as a reference here. It's above zero degrees. Okay, it's pulling 708 out of 850. So I started off at 7505. Then it went to 5.30, and now I'm at 7.08. So, it still says replace battery, which is interesting. But, uh, I'm going to keep it on my desulfator, the whiz bang. We'll come back to it. So, I guess I'll do a part two video to see if I can get this thing restored. But, uh, I mean, it's definitely getting better. Like I said, I just put that stuff in last night, so I don't know if it's fully even dissolved or not. But, I would say it definitely made an improvement, though. So I'm just curious, I don't know, I wonder if it's actually really just Epsom salt or if it's a special chemical they uh, came up with. But, alright guys, cool. Alright, so it did go down to 3.76 internal resistance. I did this test again, and uh, so it's definitely an improvement. Yesterday it was 4.05, today it's 3.76, and pulled 703, so about the same 
was yesterday. Well, um, it's till it pulled 703, so yeah, what's funny, each tester tests differently, so it's kind of like, this is the other tester, my Sitgo tester, and this is my Harbor Free tester. Alright, here we go. Way better. The battery had way more juice. Alright, cool. 15 bucks, Amazon. Well, we'll see how long it lasts. I'm going to keep on desulfating it though, so, alright.